So one of the final tournaments of the season coming up in Basel, the Basel Open, or the Swiss Indoors Masters, whatever you want to call it. It's a big event coming up, but there's actually a lot of names not playing, so let's go have a look at the withdrawal list first. So two big names, one of those being Hubi Hercatch, who has been injured for the last few months, it seems, so really disappointing not to see him there. And also Raleigh Apelka, he won't be in this event either, but there are some key names that are playing, so let's go to the top of the draw. All right, looking at the top of the draw now, we've got eight seeds, and nobody gets a buy in the first round. Number one seed, Rublev, he takes on Borges in the first round, Winner of that will take on either Chilich or Tabilo in the second round. Then you got Manorino taking on Vavrinka. Winner of that will take on either Echeverry or the number six seed Shelton in the second round. Then you got the number three seed City Pass taking on Sarundalo. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or Bublik in the second round. Then you got Martinez taking on the Cup. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or the number seven seed Feast in the second round. Very interesting draw here because there's some players who are usually good on indoor hard courts but have been really, really terrible the last couple of weeks. You gotta watch out for Rublev. He really needs some form and to try and qualify for the AWP. Finals. Also got to look over City Pass. Outside chance of qualifying as well, but needs to have some good weeks coming up. Also got to look over Shelton with that big serve on indoor court. Should be really, really fun to see. Also, Feast could be an outside chance of making the final from this section. But also watch out for Vavrinka for obvious reasons. Stan the Man had a great week last week. And also the Hedge Cup. Very, very underrated player. Was injured for the most part of the middle of the season, so he kind of disappeared. But he's been very, very dangerous in his comeback from injury and really could do some damage here. Bottom half of the draw now, we've got the number five seed on Bear taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on either Baena or Anaudi in the second round. Then you got Stricker taking on Greek Sport. Winner of that will take on either Jarry or the number four seed Runa in the second round. Then you got the number eight seed Ojeli Asim taking on Baez. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or Piracar in the second round. Then you got Shabavalov taking on Sang. Winner of that will take on either Batista Agu or the number two seed Rude in the second round. And again, players that need some points so they can try and put themselves in the race of the finals. Of course, you got to watch out for Rude. He is in that conversation, but really needs to have a couple of good weeks on these indoor hard courts. Also, got to watch out for Runa. Does really play well at this time of year. We saw a couple years ago in Paris, absolutely dominate to get to that championship there, and into a hard court seemed to be one of his favorite places to play. Also got to look out for Umbert, and the two-time champion, Ojeli Asim. He's gone for a three-peat here, which is really interesting, but also watch out for Greek Sport. Very dangerous with that big serve on into hard courts. Could be the most dangerous unseated player in this section of the draw. So there you have it. That is Basel, and I mean, look, a lot of players there that need form going into the end of the season. Of course, Rublev Rude in the conversation for A to B finals. The City Pass as well, who might be an outside chance. So they've really got to get some form here. Otherwise, they not, might not make the cut at the ATB Finals, especially with the tournament in Vienna. A lot of contenders over there trying to qualify. So it's going to be a very interesting week to see who can take the most or make the most of this 500 points. But I'm going to turn the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this event? Do you think it might be an unseated player? It feels like Basel could be a little bit random because of the big names not being playing that well. And some of the unseated players that I mentioned are very, very dangerous. So this could be a very interesting event, a very random event. But there it is. Is the Swiss indoors. Let's see what happens next week.